Okay, so I'm out of carbolin. Me, of all people, how could I run out of carbolin? They give me so much carbolin. The EFX sent me a whole porch full of boxes and boxes of carbolin. I give everything away. I mean, the real deal is I usually run out of stuff all the time because I give everything away. Um, so anyway, the situation, I ran out of carbolin, so let's try and turn it into something productive. Time to do an experiment. So the two experiments I decided to try were how exactly how much effect does the beetroot powder have on its own with the L-arginine, right? No carbolin. Carbolin's my delivery mechanism. So I tried that, and, uh, and it's also a material for the glycogen, et cetera, et cetera. So I tried that, and as expected, still had great vasodilation, but I'm really vascular anyway, but I've been doing all this for years, so go figure. However, I definitely, nowhere near the size, not holding anywhere near as much glycogen. I'm not as full, you know, don't pop, um, because of the lack of the carbolin pre-workout, literally. And it was like that in the gym. I just didn't get, I saw Brother Ned in the gym and I said, look, look, see the difference? You know, you definitely don't get that vicious pump, don't get that full, you know, and is what it is. So, you had a beetroot powder, L-arginine, still awesome for vasodilation, but without a driver in there to really get it in, it doesn't have its full effect, I would say, a conject. And uh, at the same time, without the material for that insulin, without, well, you don't have the insulin spike, so it doesn't matter if you have the material. This is what a lot of guys don't get. You gotta have that insulin spike. Whatever you're trying to put in there, you think it's important pre-workout, it, it's not getting in there. See, nobody tests their blood sugar levels either. I don't know, there's a lot to it. So I decided today, let me try this. I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I'm missing the carbolin, but uh, you know, um, I'll try potatoes. Potatoes, they're supposed to be, uh, it should be able to generate a fairly decent amount of insulin production, right? A potato. It should cause a pretty quick rise in blood sugar level. So I ate probably about 45 grams carb, carbohydrate wise of just a white baked potato. Uh, I did put a little tiny bit of shredded cheese on it, very little bit, and some hot sauce. And I ate that, and I washed it down with some fair life. All told, now, any animal fat that's involved, the effect that animal fat has on the, the rise of glucose, blood sugar in the body, animal fat tends to blunt that down, tamper that down a little bit. And because it's going to influence, it's going to impact the insulin spike that you're not going to generate as much insulin and this is this is fucking gold this is true shit real shit don't even doubt it a minute it's true you won't manage you won't manage the carbohydrate from that potato or whatever you will not manage that as quickly your body won't be able to put that to bed as quickly in other words if you're monitoring like I am now, my blood sugar levels to see what happens. You, if you, if you go without the animal fat products, then you're going to get the rise you want. You're going to hit a higher peak number, spike, blood sugar level, and it's going to taper off more quickly. So as to say, within two hours, you're going to be pretty comfortably down there. Hour, within an hour, you're probably going to reach your, your spike, your highest point, and within hour and a half you're going to start to come down two hours down all the way to base level but pretty low if uh, you add the animal fat into there your spike isn't going to be as high and it's going to take longer for your body to manage those carbs it's going to take longer than two hours in the two hours you're going to have you still be higher so on the one end you're going to have a trail a tail that's going to taper off much more slowly if you include animal fats in your ingestion of in this case my baked potato. If I don't include the animal fats in the ingestion of the baked potato, I'm going to get uh, a higher spike and it, my body's going to be able to deal with it because it's generating more insulin. It's going to deal with it faster and the blood sugar level is going to drop off more completely and more rapidly than it would with the animal fats present. So how you manipulate that, that's, you know, up to you, whatever you can accomplish. So, so far, just ate the baked potato, just tested my blood sugar level, and 97. Not very impressive, 
it's up there a little bit, that's nothing. Going on the information that is available to me, I'm expecting that one hour is going to be where I want to be in the gym because it's coming up, it's going to come up slower, of course, than with carbolin. With carbolin, I can drink it 15 minutes later, be in the gym, I'm going to have that nice spike. And um, the good thing about the carbolin is it's going to be drawn out, protracted, and it will hang in there longer. Um, so I have the potato, but I had some animal fat with it. So I'm expecting that it's going to hang in there a little bit longer, but uh, the spike won't be quite as high, and I'm interested to see how high. So I'm going to test it again as I get ready to go to the gym, and we'll see how much of a spike do we really generate, because 97, that ain't going to get the job done. All right, so it's been half an hour since I consumed my potato meal, if you want to call it that. So let's see what's going on with the blood level, blood sugar level now. Where are we at? It's blood. Like so. Put it on your little, just sucks it right in there. And it's going to tell us something here. Ooh, 143 and a half an hour. So I would speculate with another half an hour, I'm going to go up some more. I don't think I'll hit 200 with that potato like that, especially since maybe if I hadn't added the animal fat, I would have, but, uh, It'd be interesting to see where I go. I think I'll at least hit 180. I'd really like to hit two, to tell you the truth, for what I'm doing. But, uh, you know, like I said, I'm out of carbon. Just on the Hummer like this, just to come up with something else. This works. It's all about... The thing I'm trying to stress and the point to making this video is it's nutrient timing. If you want to take advantage of all these little things, small steps to the moon, small things add up. If you doubt that, then... No one would ever build any muscle at all because you don't actually see yourself building muscle. You can't watch it, you know, build and grow. But yet, the, the small, small micro tears, micro tears over time, and the small repairs and the small growth and hypertrophy adds up. It adds up. So small steps to the moon. And every little thing you can do, um, you know, to make advantage of all these small assets are going to increase, you know, the end, the end byproduct, which can be your gains. And, you know, the yield is going to be larger and greater. Small steps to the moon. All right, at the gym, getting ready to check this out. This has been about another half hour since the last time, almost, not quite, probably 20 minutes. So let's see where we're at now. Blood glucose levels, just before I get into here and do my thing. Let's see if there's still been a significant increase. I expect there has been. But I'm not sure how much. I guess we're going to find that out. Put that in there. Put that back in there. Still have my finger again. Plenty of blood. Let's see what we got here. Wow, not very good. 155. I mean, big deal. That ain't much, huh? 155. Not very much. We'll see where it's at at the end of the workout. I'd like to get higher than that. Christ. All right, back from the gym. Awesome workout with brother Rob. <sighs> Let's see what we got cooking here. Just got back. Let's see what blood glucose level is now. I'm gonna I'm gonna venture to say it's probably pretty low. I 
Nick's doing some magic. Ninety three. Ninety three. So Spike didn't get that crazy high. Um, less than two hundred. But uh, you know, it was only one decent sized potato. You're only talking about forty five grams of carbohydrate in that potato. But it's been I don't know, probably two hours and I'm down to ninety three. I mean, to me, it's acceptable as long as I get up in the morning fasted after all night, I want to be below 90. You know, it's 93. It's not crashed, but it's, it's getting down there. It's down there. So, you know, no chance of getting fat with that. We'll do this again sometime. Maybe I'll have two potatoes. <laughs> and we'll see what that does, right? Twice as much carbohydrate pre-workout. We'll see how that works out. Anyway, it's all about nutrient timing, man. That's the only thing I'm trying to get through to you guys is use your brain. Think about how all this stuff works in conjunction with your desires, your goals. You know. That's it. Take care. Have a great weekend.